guys, this is the ultimate beginner's guide to rowing, the deuce. Today we are talking about taking what you learned in the first video, which is, if you haven't watched it, go back and watch it now. It's a quick six minute video, it'll get you ready for today. What we are talking about today is taking the most important part of the stroke, the catch, and relaying it into a good force application part of the stroke, as well as teaching you how you can lead into the next phase of the stroke. So this is a critical piece, and we're gonna to get to that after we talk about how do we actually apply force to the machine. Now, what we talked about in video one was how to get comfortable adjusting your foot stretchers, how to connect to the machine through your feet, the seat, and the handle. Okay, so again, go back, check out that video if you haven't already. Next, we talked about the catch position and how that is the most important part of the stroke. So Ryan's gonna get into a good catch, and what we are doing today is called pause drill. So we are going to work with two pauses in the stroke. The emphasis here is making sure that we learn how to apply force to the machine properly. Now to do that, what we are going to do is setting up at the catch, we need to learn that the legs produce the majority of the force through the stroke and that in order to transfer that leg drive, we need to be able to brace through the hips and the midline while hanging from the arms. So just using those legs to start the position, basically start that force production, it will then relay into a hip swing and then the snap of the arms. Now the arms give you the least amount of force production during the stroke. It's the inverse of what a lot of people expect. So from that good catch position, Ryan, go ahead and hit that catch. We are going to, when, when I say go, Ryan's going to drive and then he's going to get to the phase of the stroke we call the release. And that is just where we release the handle. He is then going to pause. All right, this is going to allow him to just think about applying good force to the machine, teaching his body how to push primarily through the legs, relay that into a good hip swing, and then snap the handle into the body. You ready? Yep. As always, go. Good, so notice he releases the hands. He's not dropping them into his lap. He's staying in an engaged position. The legs are straight, the feet are connected, and he's got good posture. The body has swung open to 11 o'clock. At the catch, he was at one, that trunk was at one. At the release, he's at 11, okay? That trunk swings between one and 11. Now, when I say go, he's gonna come back to the catch and pause again. So this is the second pause of the pause drill. Go. Okay. Now here's where we get to reevaluate. And the reason we do this is so that you can think about getting into the perfect catch position every time. Do not be in a rush to move through this drill. The emphasis is find good catch, learn how to apply it, and then get comfortable releasing that handle. Ready, go. Good, so he releases the handle nice and smooth, and notice that he's learning how to push through the legs. On the next stroke, I want you to give me a little bit more force production. Here's our second pause. Good, so if we were working together and you were sitting on this machine, I would be coming over. How are the hands? How are the shoulders? How's the neck? Are the hips in good position? Are the knees in the right place? Are the heels? These are the things I'm looking for, and you should be too as you're evaluating yourself. All right, so he's gonna show you a little bit bigger drive this time. Ready, go. There we go. Now you'll notice it doesn't look like part of, the, part of the leg is moving. Everything stays tight and locked together as he's moving through. So guys, this drill is completely focused around teaching you how to connect so that you can apply force to the machine. Catch is the most important part of the stroke. However, using that catch is extremely critical because that is how you are gonna get work done on this machine. So, those of you that are just getting started with this machine, you have to learn how to connect. Connection is key and that's what we are trying to work for every single day is finding good connection, right? Always. 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 Always, 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 always. Again, whether you're on a Concept 2, a water row, or an RP3, think about those mechanics. Get yourself into good position because it's only gonna make you stronger, healthier, faster, and make your workouts better. All right, guys, as always, this has been Dark Horse Rowing. Make sure you sign up for our newsletter, The Hustler's Guide to Rowing, where you will get our latest blog article and video every single Tuesday morning in your inbox, giving you everything that you need to know about how to use this machine. Ryan, thank you as always, sir. You bet.
See you on the other side. Air blown effect. What? <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs>